Author Richard Grant is out with a new book about our state that's a mix of memoir, research, and reporting, and it's a quest to understand what makes Arizona so unique. The book is called A Race to the Bottom of Crazy, Dispatches from Arizona, and now we welcome author Richard Grant via Zoom. Richard, thanks for being here. Hi, Steve. So I'm going to say I was a little bit shocked at how many great things you had to say about Mississippi. So I want to ask what made you guys move from Mississippi with all these great neighborly folks and, and come back to Tucson? Well, yeah, I've had an odd sort of life. I moved from London, England to Tucson to Mississippi for nine years and then back to Tucson. I, I guess ultimately what, we love Mississippi, but the social conformity was just a bit too much for us. There, we were raising a daughter and the, her parameters seemed wider in Arizona than they were in Mississippi. So we came home. My wife's from Tucson. Okay. I, we're going to jump around. We only have a few minutes, as I told you. So what was it like? I mean, everyone went through craziness when the pandemic began, but to move back to a new old place, you'd both had lived in Tucson, but to move during that time, how tough was that on your family? How tough was that on your daughter? I mean, my daughter was, she was just, she was four turning five. It, I mean, she just kind of takes things or took things in her stride pretty well back then. But it, I mean, the thing I remember also the, the, the mountains above Tucson were on fire that summer and it was the hottest, driest summer on record. And we couldn't find a house to live in. We were kind of moving from one temporary rental to another with the COVID on top of that. It was kind of like a brutal reintroduction. It wasn't much of a welcome home. Well, you had been, I mean, you write so much about the extensive journalism you practice around the world, and some of it was, was pretty risk-taking. As I talked to you here in a suit in an air-conditioned studio, you were out dealing with all sorts of, I mean, cartels, et cetera. What changed for you as a journalist, not just being a family man, but, but being someone who was no longer in your 20s and 30s and, and being older? Did you feel like these are risks not worth taking anymore? Give us some insight on that. Well, it's it's a, it's a simple answer because I became a father in my mid forties, and that my main job was therefore to stay alive and taking foolish risks in places like Mexico and Haiti, where I and Africa, where I used to travel a lot, just seemed to be off the menu. And I think uh, I think fatherhood also just sort of rewires you a little bit, and um, yeah, the, the the urge to take risks in faraway places just diminished. Well, now the, the urge is gone or the practicality is gone? Because I wonder, I mean, someone doing the journalism you were doing, um, I mean, you were doing amazing stories and that must have given you some, some stimulation to know you're, you're breaking stories that other people, mostly other people are not doing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very stimulating uh, to, to be terrified in the middle of something <laughs> that you're trying to understand at the same time. But I kind of, uh, I'm moving forward, I'm moving out of that phase of my life. <laughs> So the title's somewhat obvious, but I have to ask you, Race to the Bottom of Crazy, was that your idea, the publisher's idea? Because it hits to the bone, Richard, hits right to the bone. It, w it was my idea. <laughs> Although I, I kind of I heard a, um, a Republican talking about what had happened to his party, and he used a, f a very similar phrase, that it was, it was a race to the bottom. And I thought, what's it the race to the bottom of with the, in this state? And, you know, let's let's face it. It's a beautiful state. It's an awe-inspiring state. Uh, I wanted to get that across, but it can also be a twisted, insane state, and I wanted to get that across too. Yeah, did you sense that when you moved back? I mean, I, I guess I'll ask you again. Having been there when you were a younger man, have the politics changed dramatically for you? Tucson, obviously, a little more left of center than the rest of the state. Yeah, I mean, it it became a swing state while I was gone, which was, I think, largely Trump's doing. I mean, the Latino vote came up, the native vote came up, but it seems like moderate Republicans are really what turned Arizona into a swing state. So, uh, yeah, ha having read the book, I mean, I know, I know the answer, but I want to know how much did you want it to be about the politics and how much of about you and your family and all you'd experience? Because there are, there are interweaving uh, chapters where you'll talk about, you'll give the example of the reporting you did in some of those danger zones, and then bring us back to Tucson and the relatively present day. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I, I wanted I wanted to give it all, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I think, figure this was the closest thing I was ever going to write to a memoir. I think of it as kind of an Arizona centric memoir of my life. I've spent more of my life in Arizona than anywhere else. But I also touched upon my life in London and my travels in Mexico. And uh, I also did reporting on Arizona. I went, I went to the world's, I had an ear splitting experience at the world's largest machine gun shoot <laughs> up by Wiki up there. And 
uh, I was out with the border patrol. I wanted to understand what was going on on the border and how that had changed. And uh, so it's just a kind of mixture of memoir and reportage with a bit of history thrown in there. And yeah. you know, my goal is just to keep you turning the page. I hope it's entertaining. It certainly was. I've only got a few seconds to ask you, so let me ask you the most simple question I have. Are you and your family happy you're back in Tucson? We are happy, yeah. No, we're, we're doing good. Good, okay. Well, Richard Grant is the author of A Race to the Bottom of Crazy, Dispatchers from Arizona. Richard, thanks for a few minutes of your time. All right, thanks, Steve.